Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the nausea and vomiting. We will explore the various common and complex causes of nausea and vomiting. So let's get started. Nausea and vomiting are symptoms that can result from many different conditions. First, let's define them. Nausea is the uneasy, queasy feeling in your stomach that makes you feel that you might throw up. Vomiting is the act of forcefully expelling the contents of your stomach through your mouth. While these symptoms are often grouped together, they don't always occur at the same time. One of the primary causes of nausea and vomiting is the brain's response to certain triggers. The brain's vomiting center located in the medulla oblongata receives signals from different parts of the body, including the gastrointestinal tract and the inner ear, and even in the cerebral cortex. So let's break down these triggers. One common cause is gastrointestinal infections or food poisoning. When harmful bacteria or viruses enter the stomach, they irritate the lining, sending distress signals to the brain, which then triggers vomiting to expel the toxins. Next cause is the motion sickness. This occurs when there is disconnect between your eyes and what your inner ears sense. The brain gets confused by mixed signals resulting in nausea and sometimes vomiting. Another significant cause is related to medications and treatments. Chemotherapy, for example, is notorious for causing nausea and vomiting due to its harsh effects on the body. Similarly, certain medications including painkillers and antibiotics can have these side effects. For many women, pregnancy brings about morning sickness. This type of nausea and vomiting is common in the first trimester and is thought to be related to hormonal changes. Stress and anxiety are also common causes of nausea and vomiting. When you are stressed or anxious, your body releases certain hormones that can upset your stomach, leading to nausea and vomiting. Sometimes more serious conditions can be the cause of nausea and vomiting. These include migraines, head injuries and illnesses affecting the brain, such as meningitis or brain tumor. If nausea and vomiting are persistent and severe, it is crucial to seek immediate medical attention. Overeating or eating too quickly can also lead to nausea. When the stomach is overly full, it can stretch beyond its normal capacity, triggering the brain to reduce vomiting to relieve the pressure. Excessive alcohol consumption is another common cause. Alcohol irritates the stomach lining and leads to both nausea and vomiting, which is often experienced during a hangover. Finally, certain medical conditions like gallstones, pancreatitis and hepatitis can also cause nausea and vomiting. These conditions typically involve inflammation or obstruction in the digestive organs, which disrupts normal functions. If you are experiencing persistent or severe nausea and vomiting, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the underlying cause and appropriate treatment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more health videos like this.